wainscoting adds instant style and sophistication to any room. It also happens to be a simple DIY project that you can knock out in one day. Here's what you'll need. First, map out where the wainscoting will go to determine which material is best suited to your space and how much of it you'll need. We recommend using pre-finished, pre-fabricated panels or quarter-inch birch veneer plywood panels. And consider using primed 1x6 inch trim for the baseboards, 1x3 for the vertical styles, and 1x4 for the top rail. After removing wall plates and any existing trim, you'll be ready to measure the space. Determine the length of each wall, then subtract the total width of your vertical styles. Divide this number by the width of the panels you plan to use. This will give you the number of panels you'll need for each wall. Next, using a stud finder and painter's tape, mark the location of the studs on the wall so they'll be visible while installing your wainscoting. Start by installing the baseboard left to right along the longest wall. Apply construction adhesive to the back of the board, then place it on the wall. It's important the baseboard be level, so shim if necessary, then secure into the studs with finish nails. As you work your way around the space, you may need to make straight or angled cuts to accommodate inside and outside corners. With the baseboards in place, you're ready to begin installing the wainscoting by alternating styles and panels. After measuring and cutting the styles to size, apply adhesive on the back of your starter piece. Position it atop the baseboard and flush against the wall. After checking that it's level and plumb, press it firmly to the wall, then secure with nails. Next, apply adhesive to the back of your first panel, then set it atop the baseboard, butting it tightly against the vertical style. Once level and plumb, press firmly to the wall and secure with nails into the studs. Continue this process as you work your way around the room. If a panel requires a cutout to accommodate an outlet or switch plate, measure and note the distance between the top edge of the baseboard and the center of the outlet. Then do the same for the distance between the right edge of the style and the center of the outlet. Now transcribe those measurements onto the back side of your panel and sketch the cutout. Once you've finished the cuts, secure the finished panel directly to the wall using adhesive and nails. The last component of the wainscoting to be installed is the top rail. Secure these boards first with adhesive, then nails. To finish, add wood filler to any holes, caulk any gaps, then touch up scuffs that may have occurred during installation. The timeless look of wainscoting will keep your space looking picture perfect for years to come. Good luck, and thanks for shopping at the Home Depot.